crossbow bolts or something that you can use that'll kill her. Or at least ward her off. I doubt there is, but you know, it could be. Okay, so if you if you do the proper way of of, of uh, sneak attacking them, then you don't take any damage. I'm assuming most of the time. Can we pull through the middle? No. No, oh, different animation for different doors. Looks like a better vantage point for sure. Yeah, no. Can we disable this? Hmm? I don't think so. Can we throw a bottle through it? I don't think so. Let's see if we can get in a different. Oh, okay, well, never mind. Let's. I think so. I would have preferred the stick attacker to death. But that works too, I guess. The yeah, enemies don't appear to react to. They don't appear to react to, um... To your flashlight at all. Alright. Well, that's good. What's this? Bottle? Nice. Upgrade. So, uh, more shotgun ammo, eh? Nice. Well, that kind of makes it use. That kind of makes it worth it, then, eh? So, yeah, the uh, the creative director of Arrowhead served in the Swedish military, I think it was. And his experience was that. You could always just find more places to put ammo. So, you know, I guess that's the equivalent of carrying around a bunch of pouches. Why are these like that? It's all like hazy. It's kind of weird. Okay, can't get in that way. Something about us, though.
Oh, why can't I pull out my my radio? Like I'm pressing G right now, nothing is happening. I think it's a bug. Okay. Is this doing here? Okay, that is the... Seems to be the most... Uh, prevalent? No. Wait, can we knock it out? We cannot get out right now. Lock and load, boys. So we came in. Means we probably need to do something here. It's all blue, so we're probably going to open the door into some other place. Okay, we had a friend. Got an axe and I'm not afraid to use it. place to go. Yeah, well, all right then. Bacon. Could have any wrongdoing disappearances. Douchebags. We had a call. Something happening at Beacon Mental Hospital. We went in. But it wasn't the hospital. It was somewhere else. Are you certain that's what you saw? My story's not gonna change, damn it. It was like hell in there. A whole other world. And this all took place at the hospital? I just said it didn't. Jesus, can't you understand? I understand that you've been under considerable stress. 
the counseling they made me do after. Something I didn't. You cannot keep me here. Let's get our shotgun ready. PTSD, my friend. That's how that goes. back. God, I hope it doesn't happen again. It's bad enough in here already. I don't want to have to relive the past over and over. The place is trying to mess with me. Can't get distracted. Gotta find Lily. That's right, Sebastian. Stay on target. Just know when Sebastian has come through. <laughs> All the door jams are ruined. <laughs> All the locks are busted. Muddy footprints on literally every single door. Okay. 
So if you really wanted to, you could climb on top of this. Potentially. Unless Spooky Lady shows up. Okay, so if we lure them over to the car, we could set them on fire in mass. Potentially. We just got some red gel, so... Let's go ahead and head back for a hot second. Okay, so we do need to go up here. Oh, this is a different safe house. Okay, well. Let's go there then. What's going on in here? You damn kids. Why is it so funky and finicky to even get it to work? Can we stand on the edge? We can walk on the edge, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. Oh, alright. Sounds good. Not intended, but alright. Sounds good. I'll take it. So is he just like hanging out over here and then and then died to just the hitbox? That's crazy. You see the fact that we can jump over a uh, fence tells you that we are not actually a police officer. So we just need to slap them a few times with a knife and they'll eventually get back up. <laughs> they'll eventually stand up and come after us. Wait, are they under it? Oh, I see. That's what that is. They're underneath the cars and then they are they're crawling out and that's making the car shake. Got it. What the hell? It's a rock. Alright, I'm doing good. Okay, so so far it hasn't like needed me to put stuff away, so I'm hoping it continues that trend. I 
I'm assuming that if we never encounter her in the game, then this never happens. So I do vaguely remember something about her being a bit of an issue. Because it doesn't seem scripted when you have those encounters with her. It just seems maybe random. This isn't necessarily a good thing. We have some dude bros. Does it still do damage? No. It's on that initial point where there's fire actively on the ground. Okay, it still takes the same amount of time. Let's see, we want to get over there. Is that a cold one? It's like an enemy surrounded by frost. Lots of weapon parts. Okay. Nice. Alright, yeah. If she gets in, you die. Safe house or no? I 
I would like if you could teleport between save points, though. You might be able to, I'm not sure. What is this? A smoke bomb? Okay, that sounds good. I like snake kills. Snake kills are good. Alright. Get ourselves a cup of joe. So far, the game feels more like the middle of uh, Evil Within 1, which was the best part of Evil Within 1. So that's definitely good. It will hopefully remain that way. was skidding off the track before I went into that place. Being inside Ruvik's head like that. I haven't been the same since. They tried to tell me it was all in my mind, but my mind couldn't have dreamt up the things I saw in there. You don't have to remind me. I was there too. Yeah. Your pals in Mobius didn't have any problem putting you in danger, did they? Maybe. But if I wasn't with you, we might not have made it out alive. There are times when I'm not sure I ever made it out, and now I'm in another stem. I'm still with you. We're going to get out alive, just like the last time. I hope you're right about that. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? I can't believe Lily is still alive. The fire. Lily wasn't killed in the fire. You know this now. Tell that to my brain. Tell that to the nightmares I've been having for years. Why did they take her? Out of all the little girls in the world, why mine? I can't answer that, Sebastian. Mobius took Lily long before I joined them. I know you don't believe in coincidences, but maybe you see a pattern because you want to. You know that some crimes just happen. There's no real reason for it. Just the wrong person, at the wrong place, at the wrong time. No. I refuse to believe that. Regardless, the fire is a memory that you need to purge, Sebastian. It wasn't your fault that it happened. And you didn't lose Lily because of it. Try to remember that. Gato! Thanks, Kitty. They need to give us an option to pet the cat. All right. Hold on. If that if that creature is going around, doesn't that potentially mean when we get back to our uh, when we get back to O'Neill that he'll just be dead? Because O'Neill is wanting to just O'Neill is wanting to just stay in that one. What can I help you with, Detective? In that one safe location. No keys. Don't you think it's time that you moved on? How am I ever? Go Don't you think it? Okay. What There's she's... nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. <laughs> I 
the game is just like, hey, you should probably do this. Yeah, because we will have boss fights, and those boss fights will be a bit of a pain. Move faster while crouched. Next, we're going to take this one. Seem to move faster. Wait, do we move at the same speed we just move normally? Alright, well, there is a way to check this. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi. I think we move about the same speed. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Alright, let's save. Sounds good. We are now a sneaky boy. And guys, it does look like that is all the time I have to stream for right now, so I will catch you all later. Bye, everyone. How much money do we have? How much CSF do we have? Not enough. Alright, sounds good. Let's go. And see what we can do over here. Remember, firepower was a bit too expensive. We didn't have what we needed. Yeah, we need to tie upgrade parts. I'm going to try and ignore this tree and just go for crits. For normal weapons, and then for the crossbow, I'm going to try and just do as much damage as possible. Uh, and I'll use the crossbow as our boss killer, effectively. That and, like, our... Oh, yeah, yeah. Just as I thought was going to happen. Like, this is going to have just a billion points. But the crossbow will be more of our, our boss killer and heavy hitter. And everything else will be mostly just for trash. Okay, so what's the... What's this one here? Poisonous. Okay, Sebastian's not affected by the poison. That's good. Alright, so we needed... 120 for this. Sounds good. Alright. That means we're going to want as many harpoons as possible whenever it comes to a boss fight. So I remember I'd been watching people playing Evil Within 1, and that's kind of what their strategy was. Um, basically just, what's this? Recruitment and Mew Centers. Okay, sounds good. And so I remember seeing people using the, this is still charging, good. We're at full health anyway, so it doesn't matter. But there is this. And so, what I've found with the marrow is that she's going... Looks like it's locked by some sort of password. Well, right then. Please. Nothing. Alright, sounds good. So we know that ghost girl, she turns people into these monsters. So that's definitely a bit of an issue. Eh. Now we did see like a smoking lady around here. That was a little strange, but it is what it is. Going to investigate us this guy. Are you alive? You are alive. Alright, so these guys are really dumb. He's gonna lose track of us, and we have the sneak upgrade where we move, where we walk as fast as we, we sneak as fast as we walk. We 
We also have this upgrade. So when he comes back around here, we'll stab him. Because I haven't seen this one used yet. Next time I might not be so lucky. No, I was kind of hoping it would work. Oh, that's fine. We'll just do it normally. I was hoping to test out that, uh, grab them and, like, execute them like it's, uh, what is that game? Dishonored? <laughs> We're just playing ring around the hobby. <laughs> it's a little on the ridiculous side, but I, I think it's so I think it's funny. Like in the previous game the enemies were kinda dangerous. But in this one they're kinda just I don't want to say laughable, but like, sometimes they can make interesting decisions, and it's really easy to lose them. Okay. You're not gonna get up. You are. I'm guessing that they can just sort of run to your last... I mean, obviously they'll run to your last nine location, but I think they actually know where you are for a little bit longer than you would expect. If that person was dead. We can do that to make some cover for our... Well, actually, we can do some lightning bolts for ourselves. And I think we've cleared out most of this. There was this unknown... So Sniper parts, yes. Let's go get the sniper parts. Oh, yes, this. So I don't know how to deal with her just yet. It would be nice if we could just, like, kill her or banish her. But I'm pretty sure that she's just a one-shot if she touches you. The other thing is, we don't really have a countermeasure to her right now, aside from just running away. So I'll probably just look up if there's something, like if you kill her or something. Because I do remember watching this ages ago. And people, I think speedrunners were talking about how, and this is like 10 years ago, five years ago. They are talking about how... Once you activate her, I think she's just there for the rest of the game. Oh, wonderful. Is that the lady I was looking at? Uh, no, this is a different one. Sounds good. I wonder if her fart gas hurts us. Probably does. But since we are expecting to sneak, I'd like to do the whole stabby stab on it. Alright, like it. Users. That worked? That's not supposed to work. Oh, 
Oh, she just permanently locks you at almost unable to move, huh? You lady, I got a harpoon with your name on it. Did they increase the power of normal weapons? Oh, she's dead. Cool. How much did we get? A hey, fifteen thousand. Sounds good. And you guys are wondering, after he does this to break a barrel, he's going to be stuck standing there. So it's... Yeah, yeah, like... One Mississippi... Well, let, let's test it. One Mississippi to... One Mississippi... Eh, whatever, I guess it works. Let's see. Where can we go after smacking her? Over there, I guess. <laughs> She's just like, why you little? <laughs> ah, sounds good. I do like how we are how we are rewarded just for killing these people. It's not very much, it's like 200, but and it is what it is. Okay, can't look. You can't climb up. Sometimes he can hell divers his way around, sometimes he can't. Well, this just sounds wonderful. Cartridges, very nice. And sniper rifle parts. These parts should fix the broken sniper rifle. All right, sounds good. Fix. All right, fantastic. I hate how I can't just click on it. Like, I can click on these, and it'll work, but I can't click on the other one. So we need a hundred parts for more firepower. Oh, and this one's just straight firepower, huh? Alright, that's interesting. Is a sniper rifle an automatic critical hit whenever it hits an enemy? Because that would be nice, I suppose. Um, we will make one more harpoon bolt. Hey. Imagine how dangerous that is, by the way. <laughs> what if he trips? <laughs> What if anything goes wrong and lands on it? Okay, so we have that workbench. We have this safe house over here with some coffee. We have this rogue signal down there, to the south. These developers have failed to do something that you kind of usually see in... in, uh games with open worlds, which is to have some sort of compass. Which is un 
which is unfortunate. Okay, we have a random fairy circle here. Sounds good. Uh-huh. Heading in the right direction. Sounds good. What's that? Union repair, huh? Come on, Sebastian, you can do it. Did someone see us? Aw. Oh. <laughs> Would have been great if he did his huh! and like jumped through the air like he used to do and you will then one. I have a feeling that this is a, an event that we will get stuck in. Eh. No? Eh. Alright, sounds good. Yeah, this is going to be an event that we're going to get stuck in once we go in. So we'll most likely auto save as soon as we go in. Or as soon as we hit a point of no return. <laughs> that backswing, huh? Mate, can we open this? We can. Alright, nails. Nice. What else we got? So the good news is that we can get out if we want to. Hmm. Weird. Oh, well that's an interesting one. That's like every kid that you ever see. Okay, he can't roll on that one. Alright, sounds good. But we can get out that way. I don't know if you guys ever had a thing where like, you'd have your bed in like the middle of the room, and then you just over your bed to get off, to get around. I need this worse than you do, pal. Where did you come from? Well, that's horrible fucking design. Okay, then. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> These guys are competent, right? I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> we just died in a cutscene. Okay, sounds good. Like, it wasn't even like a DMC cutscene, it was just a, a normal cutscene. Yeah. Okay, he's around here somewhere. He loses track of us, so we're going to be able to use our, our special ability. Oh. Ah, it's F. It's literally F. It's... In the tutorial it says E, in the game it says F. That's, that's fucking fantastic. Yeah. Okay. That would explain why it wasn't working. Like, in the prompts, it literally says press E to use the ability. Seemed a little weird, but whatever. It was actually F. They're just too incompetent. 
They're just too incompetent to actually put the right shit there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How long has this game been out? <laughs> Hello? Eldred, how are you? That's what it's supposed to look like. See, so yeah, when you get that ability, it flat out tells you to press E. At least that. Yeah, whatever. That ability tells you to use E to use it. But it turns out that that's wrong. You're supposed to use F. And it hasn't been changed or updated since the game came out, which is weird. Okay, nothing would break. Excellent. Yeah, Ilrud. What brings you to the stream? We played Evil Within 2 in the past and we're here to check it out. If so, what was your favorite part? What are you looking forward to? And if you're wondering, I always shit on games that I like. That's how I show that I actually like them. Remember, if you don't care whether a game is good or not, then you probably don't like it. Okay, good. So we already got that one. Sounds good. And because the game developers really, really, really love... What's that? Because they really like the idea of gra of like grabbing you in cutscenes. Because they're kind of bad like that. Let's heal. Okay, so Agony needs to go to four. This goes to three. Sounds good. So, field crafting. We don't need that just yet. Sounds good. Okay, well, the good part was that there wasn't a whole lot of wasted time here. There was a little bit of stuff we get up here. Is it that if it drops something, he, like, pauses? Yeah. And is this... So I'm just wondering if this dude just literally spawns out of nowhere, because I think that's what happens. Unless he's on the ground somewhere, or hanging out somewhere. This by far is one of my favorite bugs. Can I get... Oh, I can't climb on top of it. I was hoping I could. That'd be stupid. Okay, so nothing in there. He's not in here. So this dude literally just spawns out of nowhere. Basically. Huh? I need this worse than you do, pal. Ah, 
Wonderful. Oh, yeah, but I actually reloaded my shit, huh? Okay, laser sighted handgun. Proved accuracy at long ranges. Does one do more damage than the other one? Uh, like, I'm slightly confused. Does one do more damage? This is one thing I really dislike about this game and its predecessor, which is that they just don't tell you damage values. I would rather just know how much damage a weapon of mine is doing. Even if it's like, even if it's just like very low, low, medium, high, very high, extreme, like, even if it's just that, that would be good enough. How am I supposed to get supplies of every cash in Noble Roman doing that? Like, you're not getting out of there, shit heels. So yeah, maybe there are mods that add in damage values on weapons, you know, and fix the developer's mistakes from, you know, ten years, what, five years ago? So, those mistakes are kind of expected. But, to a modern audience, they are very annoying. Okay, yeah. That person, we can't kill them. Alas. Alright, so last time we went in a train car, we got ambushed. The game is auto-saving. Ghost lady's been chasing everyone around. Wow, that's unnatural. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Okay, harpoon. And this is most definitely not payday, so we can't climb under the under the train cars. There is somebody here. We can we can kind of just run around until we start seeing the like little sound indicators. So that's useful at least. Come on, buddy. You got this. Uh, 
And that rat is going nuts. <laughs> oh, we could have ran out there. Nice. That would have been the better option. Yeah. Red gel. usually turn into monsters after the ghost gets them. I'm ever so slightly confused. Hello. <laughs> Don't worry lady, I'm an officer of the law. And <laughs> you serious? Where did he go? Alright, let's... Where do we step up? I'm dealing with you. Ah, sounds good. Weird. Like sometimes he'll pause for a long time and sometimes he won't, which is a little on the weird side. <laughs> game just didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, 
I love the stuff where the game just doesn't know what it's supposed to do. And so it just sort of freaks out a little bit. So there's a decent amount of cover. Uh, okay, I see. It's going to be like, there's a decent amount of cover here. I wonder what all this is. Is this a safe house? Maybe? Oh, great. Damn, it's that thing again. Okay, so I'm guessing I just sort of go in a circle here. Hmm. Oh, we kind of just went in a big circle. Okay. Sounds good. In that case, we probably completed most of the stuff here. So let's look at our map. We can still go over here, potentially. We've sort of checked out this area. I guess we should go in... No, I think there's a fence there and we can't get in. And this is probably blocked off. Everything over here fell off. So I think at this point we just kind of go over here and explore this area a little bit. We should also do this rogue signal. That's just due north of us. Ah, oh, we have friends. Excellent. Okay, we should set this to something. Five. Is that somebody that we could have saved? Oh no! What the fuck are you doing, Dad? What is that camera? Well, right now the game is pissing me off because its camera's dog shit and other things that are kind of problems. But it is an old game, so I can forgive some aspects of that. But the camera... Oh, it's just normal difficulty, but the camera's a, the problem right now. Which is really bad. Like this is not from this is not a from solve game, so I don't give it a free pass. But it's like your one like one of your many jobs as a developer is to make sure that everything works the way it's supposed to. And there should not be instances where my camera is just doing like a one eighty and getting me killed. Like that that's just completely and utterly unacceptable. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I would do that, but I'm playing this for Halloween, so I really don't have time to do that. Plus, I mean, I don't really have faith that this 
game is necessarily good enough or polished enough for that. Like normally I would play games on the hardest difficulty, you know, just on my own. But I think this game would probably just be frustrating to do that based on some of the mechanics so far. Yeah, some of the polish is just not there, which, you know, it's it's been what, 5 years? Five, six years or something? It's one of those things where you'd want it to be better, despite knowing that it's not. they react. Okay, sounds good. Let's break LOS so we can then sneak together. But yeah, yeah, if it's something where like I think I did something wrong, then I don't really care. But if it's something where like the game seems to just be freaking out, then that's definitely one hundred percent a problem for me. That might though that might be a symptom of like being a nineties kid. Cause in like in the nineties, like the scaffolding for what you had for games was incredibly simplistic. So, like, you had stuff like Unreal and UT99 and all that good stuff. And that stuff was very simple. Ah, nice. Hopefully that did the trick. Like, there were very few mechanics in those engines, in those games, that didn't work the way they were supposed to. Okay, let's make sure we clear everybody out first, and I have a feeling that's going to be some sort of, not boss fight, but it's going to be something. Okay, good. So let's make sure we clear everything out. Now granted, what we could do is just knock over like these barrels and then shoot them after the enemies clump all up. That would quickly take them out. We probably have enough. Okay, so we got an auto save. So if we need to, we can just leave. Okay, so the CP CFS is. The CSF is just normal across the board for everyone. I have a feeling there's a murderer or something around here. And the door just closed. Is there a ghost? There might be a ghost. Am I supposed to... Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that's the way out.
Okay, game, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like, you've given me two obvious places to go, to, to progress, and neither one of them work. What do you fucking idiots want me to do? Like, game design 101, come on, guys. Like, you even put light shining on this. Fuck is wrong with you. Like, this was, like, mid, like, this is early 2010s design. This means go here. That's what that translates to. So neither one of these work. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I, I don't know what they want me to do. Like, they are... <laughs> like, they have fucked up their own designs. <laughs> So I'm guessing I'm supposed to come back. Am I supposed to come back? Like, I should be... Okay, if I can go here, I should be able to just complete it. Is this something where the developers are retards? You know, in like a 20 and like a 2000s way? Well, that just meant stupid instead of, you know, somebody with... An actual disorder. Okay, whatever. I'm guessing the them guessing the developers are just being stupid. All right, time to uh wait, 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 wait. Is this where an event is? No. Okay. Well. <laughs> Am I supposed to turn this on when I'm in there? I'm kind of confused. Do I need an item? Do I need an item to do this? Do I need to like... Pick this over somewhere first. Do I need to start a fire? My basic game design 101 says don't let the player into a location if they can't do anything with it. That was like two that was like early no, it was like 1990s design where they would do that a lot. But they would make really large levels for that specific reason, and you were supposed to get lost. To an extent. Okay, whatever. I don't have time to waste for this shit. The developers don't know what they're doing. Unless there's like another way to get in here. But I don't think that's the case. The devs are just being stupid. This is the only other way I could get in there. Okay, yeah. Um, as far as I can tell, the devs are just stupid. Alright, fantastic. Let's go here instead, I guess. But can we not get into that one either? I don't know, we only went in from like this side, so... So let's do that instead. There's this thing that happens in game design, even like tabletop RPGs, which is where to the GM or the person running it, it seems like a good idea. But to the players, it sounds god awful. And it is god awful. I'll give you an example. So in a lot of tabletop RPGs, the game master can get like cut up on the idea of balance. It's like, oh, well, the encounters are supposed to be this difficulty level and therefore they should be 
you know, have this level of balance or whatever. And so the developer, the GM, I suppose, in this case, will get really hung up on this. And so they'll make all their encounters and super tight, but the thing that they're not necessarily friends. There are friends in this truck. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. Okay, we, we can't lose them in this, huh? Alright, lost them. If we aim, they can't see us. Well, if we aim, we can see through the whatever bush we're in. This works sometimes. So it doesn't look good, but we're sneaking as fast as we walk. So we might as well just keep sneaking. Gotcha. Any left? No. Okay, so that's how we get in the car repair. Nice. We still have that axe, right? That is the strongest glass in the universe. Ah, okay, we can get it in this way. If we can get it in this way, why was the glass invincible? <laughs> you idiots! under here I gotta get down there indeed a new signal James where the fuck are you get your ass to the visitor center you're never gonna believe visitor center it is all right Okay, so there's a cache under here. I'm assuming that's where this goes. We should go take out those other guys first.
Yeah, see if I can get some ears on them. Shotgun shells. Okay, that's a med kit. Nice. Come and get us. Okay, so no Project Zomboid stomp on their head when they jump over the fence. Something that the game does need to get rid of are the enemies' grabs. I would rather them just be able to smack us and that's it. Is the other gun? Was that it? Because if that's it, we're good. <laughs> There's still one left. He's got an axe. Okay, good. Alright, sounds good. Let's go inside then. Let's get to that weapons cache. It's probably in the marrow. Marrow. Come on, Sebastian, just kick out a few times. It'll be fine. I mean, it is just a chain link fence. Those things are notoriously easy to kick out. Then again, that's the same logic of like, oh no, it's Dark Souls 1 and the door is literally just like some metal balls and it's locked from the other side. Oh no, it opens! <laughs> 